Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. It was like a rough Monday. Mm -hmm. Like work was not fun. Mm -hmm. It was a Monday. So it was the first of the month. And it was the first of the month and like we had just been off. Like I know that you had worked and I still was editing the vlog while we were on our little staycation. But like it just like felt like today I was like I needed to go pay rent. I needed to like just get our lives I need to situated. do my report. We're just doing a lot. Yeah. But now we're hungry. Right. So we're going to get some food at the Dandelion Cafe. Yeah. Here we are hitting up Dandelion Cafe, Community Cafe. It's our fun little all vegan joint we've gone to a few times. Mm -hmm. Lazy Moon, a good pizza joint right over there in Colonial. So nice. So we're gonna get this for dinner instead of going grocery shopping. All right, here's the menu. 100% GMO free, global organic plant-based. Sarah's feed vibing on the broccoli Reuben, but with no broccoli. I'm thinking about this Tater Swift, which is funny. Or the sweet potato burrito. Or the Mediterranean. Or the abundant harvest. Oh gosh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So cute, so cute, so cute. They have a bunch of products for sale. Nice and organic. These look good. This is so nice. Here's my Reuben and potato salad. Should we split see this? Sure. Look at my wrap. What did I, you get? I got potato salad too. Why did that mine have a top? I took mine up already. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. charge the battery and we accidentally washed our good battery <laughs> so that's drying right now how was it was it good it was really good really good i would have just i should have just gotten the broccoli <laughs> yeah sarah got I've no broccoli i have enjoyed broccoli i don't know why and mine had a lot of olives and we didn't realize it so when we went splitsy splitsy 50 50 she wasn't like super thrilled about all my olives but it was pretty, i was able to pick and it wasn't too like you know how like sometimes olives take over yeah it wasn't too bad cool. but yeah i yeah, have it was good fuel all right, back in the car. Um, we're gonna take a drive downtown. There is a bigger protest scheduled for tomorrow that has been in the works for days now. So that actually should be pretty exciting. Um, I think there's like this, a couple speakers. I think there's a state representative or like a, a local pastor coming to speak to that one too. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get there tomorrow before it starts because it starts at three. And I don't know with work if I can go that early. Um, but I do believe there are still um, representation and protests today. So we're gonna swing by downtown to see if City Hall has any crowds before we either both go home or it's just Sarah goes home. All right, so Sarah's driving now. Don't see that too often. Here I am. Um, I saw somebody streaming earlier. I think, I think you can go right here. Um, streaming earlier about people marching and I wanted to see where that was going and they are in front of the orange or Orlando Police Department, so it looks like a larger crowd. And so I think if anything, this crowd go left, please. This crowd would end up meeting up with the other crowd. So we're gonna drive over to Orlando Police Department and drop me off there before Sarah goes home. Yeah, and I think that Peter is going to vlog today, but I'm also going to be showing you guys some of the research I did yesterday. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sarah dropped me off a block away because the barricades from Orlando Police Department. So I can see they got the riot cops on bikes again and I can hear the chanting now. They're already getting their masks on. Oscar 
Walter Scott! Walter Scott! So what just happened was we were all taking a knee, chanting the names of all the people who have been killed by police brutality as all the cops at City Hall were putting masks on and pulling cans out. Somebody ran up and said, we have to go. There have been some politically said things online. And as we turned around to leave City Hall, we were met with a truck with two cops holding public guns out and ready. The cops are not playing nice today. So last night I just started to compile links um, of places that I want to remember, share with you guys. If, if you're interested in any of this, I'll let you um, I'll let you know the links. Just send us a message or comment on the video. This moment in America is a moment, and the fight will continue after. Um, however, the unrest is resolved, or who knows if it will be what matter it'll be resolved in. Um, and so we really just want to dedicate, um, like our normal life to helping all of these causes. I think one of the best, um, links that I found was shared by one of my friends, um, from high school that it was literally just like a list of 75 things my white allies can do. The very first thing on that list was find out if your city requires police officers to wear body cams um, and if those body cams are immediately turned on when they answer to calls. And I'm actually having a conversation with the Orlando Police Department over email tonight um, because it stated that in on the website it stated in 2014 they had a successful trial of body cams and they were working on making them like permanent throughout um throughout the orlando police department and so to me i was like that was six years ago like why hasn't this been implemented yet and they responded and they told me that they do have body cams and then i requested that they update their website because that caused confusion um and as citizens, we have the right to know those types of things, and we have the right to preserve our safety. And so, I mean, I was surprised that I got an answer so quickly, and we it's not just been um, a like an automatic reply. I've actually been talking to a person, and um, so I don't know. Maybe that's something that you think about doing. I'll definitely link that website, the list of 75 things, in the description of the video if there's anything specific that you'd like definitely let me know i'm interested in volunteering in orlando movements of um signing voters up and i don't know i've even seen things like take pictures organize do like just volunteer my time to do things like that um and hopefully even learn more opportunities of what i can do even if it's designing things or if it's just using I don't know being somebody in an office that's ready to take calls or go out to people and talk to people so um yeah I'm excited to do this research and I'll share anything that you would like to hear or to if you want to know and for more information yourself The leader of our group just explained that uh, we're going back to the Orlando Police Department and express that there are at least two other groups out in Orlando. He I can't speak for them, but he knows that our group is peaceful, even with the agitation that we've been met with at moments with the cops. There are some cops that we've seen already that have been super nice and helpful guiding us and everything, but there was a moment there back there that our peaceful group was met with hostility. Alright, I am leaving the station. Um, we got 45 minutes till curfew. I figure I have a few minutes before I have to start running to make sure I get home before curfew. Um, pretty good crowd. Peaceful the whole time. Just that one real intense moment at City Hall. Which was bogus. It really was. That's all I can say to that. 
saw a lot of familiar faces I've seen the last two days on both the protesters and the cops. So why today? You know? Why today? There was almost an issue. There didn't have to be. And luckily there wasn't because of some very good protesting leadership. But why? Why even have the, the thought and potential for that to happen? Do do whoa whoa like Betty bump it down whoa like Betty bump it down it's new month yeah call June call 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 June this is a really dramatic shot everybody all right Monday June first life is too short to wake up with regrets so love the people who treat you right. Forget about those who don't. Believe everything happens for a reason. If you get a chance, take it. If, the, if it changes your life, let it. Nobody said life would be easy. They just promised it would most likely be worth it. Harvey McKay. Love it. Today is Monday, June 1st. Today's daily message. Double treat today, because it's the first of the month, is by Anonymous. Not the organization that is resurrected after three years of silence. But just by somebody random be so happy that when others look at you they become happy too very important in these times today I don't know how much we're gonna end up putting the vlog but today was a bit more of an intense day on the protesting front it is late um, so we're about to go to bed but my just adrenaline has been pumping I filled in Sarah and all, everything that happened tonight. There's a lot of footage I take that doesn't make the vlog because we want to respect people's faces, but I want to take so I can like and we want share. Just, yeah. We want to make sure that we are. We want to give you an honest, opinion. like documentation, because like that's like what we're aiming to do. And if this. I document something that is a one-off action or something. Right, you're something like you're not like the whole hundred percent like aware of what's going on. We don't want to like falsely like paint a picture but, I, but it helps me express to sarah what happened and how i felt because today i was a lot more emotionally driven today because i believe in its rawest form in orlando i've seen a more aggressive police force confront the protesting right but it was the first day that there was word from our president about becoming more aggressive and that there would be military action if cities and states weren't aggressive enough but i literally saw i mean cops it's just like faces. those two things it's yeah. not a coincidence and i saw cops faces i've seen the past two days that have shaked hands and talked to protesters of the same face that i remember not communicate today like with a sour taste in their mouth yes. there is kind of a change of energy I was surprised. Even from the I expected that. it to happen closer to curfew because that's kind of what's been happening across the country around curfew. Things get nasty. Sun was still up. It was like honestly within forty minutes of Sarah dropping me off that I saw this, and I was like emotionally charged. And I was like, "This today's not the same." And it's from my own opinion, from experiencing these three days and being of sound body and mind of a twenty-eight year old man. It was a more agitated confrontation coming from the police force but and i mean we also just want to say like we're not experts uh -uh. in this realm at all like we're used to showing you guys theme parks <laughs> like so like this is like very new and like we're trying to navigate it as best as possible um but we're also humans who can learn and grow learn and grow but also like see things for what they are Tomorrow's we are a lucky and so good to be home. Like, yeah. like I, I was realizing that like when I like had the sign off yesterday, um, just how fortunate we are to come home safe every night. Like, it's good to be home is like, is a privilege in itself. And one last thing, <laughs> um, we are intentionally not using our intro music or our outro music. Just if you are confused, um, just feels a little too um, distasteful. Yeah, like just a little peppy when we don't feel peppy. I mean, we're going to find joy in every day still. And we're hopeful, of course. Yeah, we are, but, but it's, it's just like, not... it just like feels like... We don't want you to be looking at our toes is what we're saying right now. Stop looking at my toes. <laughs> um, it's good to be home. It's good to be home.